sure you're already ready. You're already ready because you already saw the title of this video. But are you ready to see what my new addition to my collection of designer handbags is? Go ahead and sit down. No, really, go ahead and sit down. It is time for a new Marc Jacob handbag unboxing. Hola, y bienvenidos a New Lips. El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video is by Marc Jacobs Beauty and it's called Ch -ch -ch Changes. Unboxing my new Marc Jacobs crossbody handbag in glitter. Let's get into it, bitches. This was my Valentine's present by my husband. We went straight to Bloomingdale's and we browsed and looked around and this is what I ended up getting. So let's open it. Comes in this little pouch, which I love because this is how I store them. So they don't get scratched and you know, dust and things like that. And this is my new beauty. Look at that shiny beauty. So freaking beautiful. Okay, so I ended up getting the gold one. I've seen it in three colors. I've seen it in this gold and it has like glitter all over, but it's like glitter leather. I've seen it in the icy cool glitter pink and then the hardware is in silver. And then I've seen the silver silver where the glitter is all silver and then the hardware is in silver. I'm not gonna lie, I had a hard time figuring out which color I wanted to pick because they're all fabulous, they're all beautiful. I would rock them all to be honest with you. Eventually I ended up with the gold. Notice I don't really have a lot of things with gold hardware. So I was like, all right, let me get this. And I figured for the summer, when I have a tan, it's gonna look even more beautiful. I love it. Of course, it's your standard snapshot camera bag by Marc Jacobs. This one's for 325. Already seen the silver one on sale. So keep in mind that they always go on sale because every time I grab them, it's on sale. Although this is an exception, but only because Ironically, my husband didn't want to wait. I don't mind waiting. He was actually very adamant on trying to get me something for Valentine's Day. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> From my experience, these are very durable hardware. They have grit and structure and they're really hard and compact. These purses don't hold too much. This is for the type of girl that loves fashion clearly, is fashion forward, sporty with the edge, but that you don't like to carry too many things around with you. I mean, that's exactly me to a T. Like, I don't like carrying big bags unless I have to. But if it's everyday life, I like to keep things really low key and simple. In New York, you're doing so much as it is already. So I'm not trying to add to it. All the snapshots come pretty much standard. They're the same. They have like the two components where it's one here and then the other side. And you could really open it up more so it could be more spacious. They have several compartments inside. And then in the back here is usually where I store my mask now. Or my credit cards. I made sure that if I was gonna get this bag that it also had the removable straps because I love the fact that I could change this around. I haven't thus far with any of my bags to be honest with you but that's because every time I've gone to the store or checked for them online I haven't seen anyone that tickles my fancy. They normally tend to be $85. I've also seen them on sale. This is the Snapshot Glitter Leather Crossbody and it's super beautiful. It's shiny. If you don't like shininess this is not gonna be for you. This will be more like a night purse if anything but i don't care it's small enough that i can get away with it for the daytime i would definitely rock this in the daytime because where the hell am i gonna go in the nighttime right now it lasts me a long time i mean the oldest bag i have in my collection is at least five years old and i rock that shit to the tv but they're all still brand new because to me at these prices these are forever pieces this is a piece that even though it's glittery and gold and shiny i will be able to wear this five years on the line 10 years and like I know this will last me forever unless I literally lose it. The gold is kind of like not a loud gold. It's more like kind of bordering a little bit on like a slight tinge of green. Almost like if it had like an olive green to it base. And it's not super yellow. I think it's a beautiful mix of this edgy but unique type of color. So it's not your full-blown standard gold but it's not olive and it's not bronze it's kind of like old tinge of olive gold it's really unique the lettering on the strap is like in a woven material it's not shiny but the outside of it is super shiny and again it has like the antique tinge of olive green type of gold this bag just stands out it just looks so beautiful 
if you love glittery shiny things and this is right up your alley i love anything shiny it makes me happy and that's all i can ask for if you are in the market of looking for something like this i have like i think like i said initially five at this point i would hands down recommend them i've seen them in all kinds of colors and they're just so efficient durable hard they're raw they're stylish they're fashion forward and they're compact and it's just one of those type of bags you just grab and go and i'm obsessed with it what the fuck are you waiting for it's time for you to subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up or thumbs down i dare you and hit the notification bell so i could inform you of my next video